Good day, D-Bags. Vu of Envu Films, back with another video. And I don't even know if this subject necessarily needs its own video, but uh, it's just something I'd like to address because it's been all over my video comments for the Sony ZV-E1. And I've noticed a lot of YouTube videos talking about it. It's about the Panasonic S5 Mark II X. And it is getting a lot of hype. It is cheap relatively cheap, $2,200 for a very capable camera. All the specs, you've probably heard about it. And there are dudes pretty much saying, Sony is trash, I need to sell my Sony gear, I need to switch to Panasonic because Panasonic S5 Mark II X is only $2,200 and it obliterates the Sony A7S III, FX3 and all that nonsense. And exactly what it is. It's complete nonsense. It's because, first of all, if you want to use the Panasonic S5 Mark II X for all of its glory, like all of the specs that it's advertising it is able to do, you have to rig out that camera. You have to buy SSDs. You have to buy cage. You have to buy monitor. You have to buy all kinds of crap to get that camera with the specs to be usable. You're probably looking at $3,000 or so you're going to be spending a lot more than those $2,200 that you originally purchased it with. Secondly, the most important thing is it still can't do everything the Sony a7S III and FX3 could do. I mean, besides obviously 12,800 base ISO, it can't do 4K60 using the full frame of the sensor and it has a lot of rolling shutter. By a lot, I mean it won't be usable if you're doing any type of panning with the telephoto lens. Don't ask me how I know. I've been dealing with Panasonic D-bag commenters since the GH4 clowning on my Sony A6300, 64, 6500 that it has a bunch of rolling shutter. So now I'm coming right back at you. You have rolling shutter and my Sony A7S III and FX3 do not, which is a massive deal breaker if you're filming sports. If you're having a telephoto lens and you're panning after some cars, if you're panning after some football players, if you're panning after some soccer players, you're going to get a bunch of rolling shutter with your Panasonic S5 Mark II X camera. You're not going to get that with your Sony FX3 and your Sony A7S III FX6 or whatever. That in itself is worth the additional cost in my opinion because now you actually have a camera that you could shoot in any situation. Sports, low light, whatever, fast action, no problem. With the S5 Mark II X, you're still limited to, you're still limited. You, you still can't do those things without sacrificing quality, which in this case, you know, dudes doing the wave. You're gonna look like that little like wavy thing they, they have at the car dealerships. And of course, the, force, the 4K 60 crop Panasonic doesn't even have a APS-C camera. It doesn't even have lenses specifically designed for APS-C. Sony does. So when you're shooting in, you know, when you're shooting in with a 1.5 times crop, you lose out in some of those depth of field. That's why there's like these smaller, you know, 23 millimeter F 1.4 lenses that are designed for APS-C or the 15 millimeter f1.4, which is designed for APS-C, you have a very wide angle lens with a very wide aperture. You don't have those things on the Panasonic system yet anyway, but the point is there are limitations to that camera and the $2,200 you're spending. So before you go out there and say, oh, the Panasonic S5 Mark II X is some type of Sony a7S III killer, it's not, again, the Sony a7S III was released in 2020, and there is no other camera out there, even close to its price, that does everything that it could do. 4K24, 4K60, 4K120, full frame. Basically, 120 is almost full frame. It's 1.1 times crop, but you get the picture. All full autofocus tracking and audio is recorded in the slow motion options. 10 bit 422 external ProRes RAW recording. Uh, there's no other camera that does what it does. So I'm not here to tell you that 
you know, Sony is the greatest camera company of all time. I am a Sony fanboy. You could probably tell that from this video. And I'm also not saying that, you know, the Panasonic S5 Mark, and I'm also not saying that the Panasonic S5 Mark II X, you got that camera, you could do a lot of things with it. Yes, 4K60 is, you know, APC, but there's things you can do to alleviate that. Yes, there is rolling shutter, but you don't have to like do pans really quickly all the time. Not every video requires that. So I get it. You know, it's a great camera. I'm just saying, y'all need to slow your roll and stop deep throating that Panasonic. Okay, every camera brand these days have fantastic camera bodies. You cannot go wrong with either brand, even Nikon. You know, that is it. And if you're a Sony fanboy douchebag and you're looking at this Panasonic S5 Mark II X and you're like, oh, I really want that. It has like all these DCI and stuff like that. Uh, I want to switch. Uh, I want to, I want to, uh, you know, go to Panasonic Camera Camp in five years when they're finally afford to hold some an event like that with their low sales. Y'all need to chill out. You know, stick with your Sony camera. There's no need to be switching anywhere. Matter of fact, if you have any of these camera systems these days at the level that they are, like, there's really no reason to switch, especially if you're getting what you want out of this camera. Anyways, with that said, till next time, lighten up. Hi, man. That the Sony ZV-E1? Yeah, this is a Sony ZV-E1. Bought it with my own money. Oh my god, that camera hit track. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Small, compact, and lightweight. Perfect for vloggers, perfect for traveling. This camera's fantastic. Same sensor as the Sony A7S III, FX3. If you want to be the bat, if you want to be professional, if you want to be a war winning, $2,200, you need to get the Panasonic S5 Mark II X. Bro, the Panasonic S5 Mark II X is a great camera, but the Sony ZV-1 is marketed towards a specific type of content creator. The Panasonic S5 Mark II X have better cinematic feature. DCI 4K, 6K recording opening ray. Dude, I'm a videographer for a living. I don't even need all that, yet alone a basic content creator. Let me show you. Bro, I thought you were going to show me some footage. You show me a spec sheet? It because I have no money. Buy my how to be a cinematic filmmaker without camera matter clad. Only $29.99.